first time that they were at a game. Um, yeah, you know the old saying. She was like a little kid looking up at our players, you know, and um, you you could just see the look in her eyes, like she was so excited. You know, and it, now imagine the 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 absurdity of, of that that you know your father's Kobe Bryant and the most excited you've been in a long time is being around college women's basketball players but that's what it meant to her you know that was what she aspired to be so in that room the very first time second time you know after that it was a little bit different but the very first time you know, so you got Gigi and her role models and people she looks up to and then you got our players looking at her dad, like, ah, oh, you know. So it was a real, it was a real head-shaking scene, you know. Um, and she was, uh, you know, when she came up here on campus, um, I, it's like, she could, if she could have stayed, I think she would have stayed. You, you know, can't react to something like that um, and say, well, this is what you do when this happens. You don't know what to do. You just, you don't know what to say. So you just kind of sit there and, and then you've got all these kids back with their families and then the national team's here. And <clears throat> so you got to put on a happy face and you got to do what you got to do. You know, that wasn't easy. He had a big impact on the world of sports and, you know, uh, introducing the NBA to a whole part of the world that didn't know about it and his businesses, you know, and all the stuff that he's done. Um, you know, those are things that will last forever. But, you know, he probably <clears throat> would have had a bigger impact on his, on his kids. That's when he was at his happiest, when he was coaching his daughter. You could just see it in his face. You know, the times, you know, we spent, he, he was just so dead set on that team being really good, running the triangle. Like, he, he was really, really into it. Um, and it's just sad that we're not going to know what, what he could have done in, in, in any capacity. Just the way he, he always just talked about On the court, she was a completely different person. She was a monster. She was mean. <laughs> she had an attitude just like he did. And um, she was just a beautiful soul, a beautiful person that I was lucky enough to meet and get to know. You know, he was one of the ones who first reached out to me when I ruptured my Achilles. Um, so to, to have uh, him pass the day before my first game back, um, playing with Team USA at UConn, you know, obviously he's an avid supporter of UConn uh, because of his daughter Gigi. Uh, but he was someone that I just kind of, you know, tried to emulate, you know, the way he prepares himself, his mindset, how he works, and, um, you know, continuing to... Uh, make his legacy grow and, and make sure that the kids behind me, they know who, who Kobe is. Just a sad day, a sad day for basketball and the fact that um, his daughter and her teammates and other parents were on board. Um, it's just, it's something that's really tragic and uh, makes you cherish your life that you're living and um, not think too much into things.